So the laws in Michigan have completely changed. Everything's new. There's new limits. There's new medicals. Some people can opt out. It's confusing. If you guys want the quickest, easiest way to understand it, you're going to want to stay tuned. I'm Mark with Valor Insurance, and we specialize in giving you the education to help you guys decide what's best for you for car insurance and home insurance in Michigan. Now we go into depth on more other things, but those are our primary focuses. If that's something that you guys think you can get value out of, definitely hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn the bell icon on so that way you get notified anytime a video goes live. Now the PIP has changed pretty drastically and it used to be that it was completely unlimited. You didn't have a choice. You had to pay the money and the fee no matter what happened. It was unlimited medical, which was kind of a cool thing, but that's also the reason Michigan has quickly become one of the most expensive insurances in the US. That medical is not cheap, and the people that used it were few and far between. Now the state has quickly decided that that may not be the route that they wanted to take. They've revamped it or reformed as they call the PIP reform. And that's changed pretty drastically. So now there's five, technically six ways that the PIP insurance is optional. First way is unlimited. It's exactly what it was before. You pay the small fee. It should be about $100 less because they're actually lowering the cost of it. So you're still gonna save some money no matter what you do. The second way is if you do the 500,000 limit. It's, it is what it sounds like. It's 500,000 instead of unlimited. A pretty drastic change, but the price has dropped even more, mainly because the risk on the insurance company has gone down. The more money you say you'll put in, if it goes over 500,000, the less the insurance is on the hook. So naturally they're gonna lower their prices. The third way is the 250,000. Now this is where that one actually branches off into a third point five way, I guess you could say, is you have 250,000, but this is the lowest limit that they'll let you go without having some sort of proof of having medical elsewhere. And we're gonna dive into that in just a second. So that 250 is lowering that part, but also it's the lowest part you can add what's called an exclusion. And if you have people that live in the house with you that don't have insurance or don't ever drive your car or whatnot, they're not related to you and not blood, family, that type of stuff, you have the option of excluding them as long as they qualify. The fourth way is the 50,000 limit. And you have to have Medicaid to qualify for that. So if you have Medicaid and you don't want PIP at all, you still have to carry at least 50,000, which is a pretty drastic change in cost. So it's gonna lower it quite a bit. Now, if that changes, keep in mind that there are some laws in place where you have to constantly prove that you have these limits or these coverages, so they're not just going to accept anyone. The fifth way is what they call Medicare opt-out, and that's what a lot of people in Michigan are choosing. It's mainly someone who's usually retired. It's the 63 or 65 and older, not to say that there's younger people that don't get into it, but that's the most common. So if you want to opt out completely, you have parts A and B of Medicare, then you have that option. Keep in mind, you've now chosen that you have zero medical in your insurance. That is mainly because if you have the Medicaid A and B, the A, which I'm not gonna dive too deep into, but the A is in hospital and the B is, is the medication. So if you have that where they're covering you in the hospital portion, then they're going to have the coverage already. So why buy it twice? So hopefully this isn't getting too confusing. We actually created and designed a pamphlet or a, a downloadable PDF file that you guys can have. I'm going to link that below so that you guys have access to that, which is kind of our cheat sheet that gives you a summary of this. Just be careful when you're doing these lower limits of medical. There are some pieces that you're giving up besides just lowering the medical. There's other pieces such as attended care that get removed and you have to manually add them back on. It depends on the company that you work with because this is where the state has opened up the doors and said, okay, if the person opts out of the medical, they have you have options now to offer different limits of attended care. Not all people that opt out have in their Medicare the A and B with the attended care. So there's a few things that you guys are gonna to wanna to research. Either way, the link's below if you guys wanna download the cheat sheet there. It should go over and give you a really good idea of what options you should look forward to. 
If you need more advice on there, we'll probably put our link below. That way, if you want to talk to one of us live, that would be fine as well. So there you have it. Those are really the five slash 5.56 ish ways that PIP can affect you. We'll go into a little bit more depth in the future videos. So subscribe, like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, feel free to hit the thumbs down twice. I'm Mark with Valor Insurance. I will see you in the next one.